So I'm up in the third floor. We're looking at a, so this is a four ton train air handler. Um, uh, we're gonna give options to replace. Uh, so first thing, uh, from a return perspective, uh, we're going to reconnect to this uh, the existing return box. All of our return is directly beneath us, um, coming from the second floor. Our supplies, I'll get the exact number of supplies um, here shortly, um, but the refrigerant lines, they run out, run over, run down the side of the house. Um, we are most likely going to flush those, um, but uh, one thing that we do have is we've got water that, that's leaking uh, down beneath the unit, and it's okay. Uh, and so we're gonna lift so we're gonna put a new pan in here um, and uh, I want the when we set the new pan we'll set the new pan down on the uh, two by fours that are underneath here but um, inside of the pan set the unit up a few inches higher um, because uh, set it on some cork pads to get some height so we can uh, properly drain because we don't have any slope going out for our uh, condensate probably part of the reason why we've got condensation down here um what else um i will i don't believe just because the we might be able to fit a if they wanted a five inch uh, media filter we would have to we would be able to we would just shuffle this whole thing down about four inches um, but we could do that if they wanted it but I'll give an option separate option for that so if we did that it would just still stay a bottom return filter would be rack would be right in the same spot everything would just shift down about four or five inches um, and there's no heat kit because there is a boiler no electric heat kit 